so guys how are you doing is it fine uh, okay so part one is very easy right so now we will continue with part two okay before we go to part two i want you to know what is the difference between part one and part two okay let's recall back on part one okay for type one uh, we have linear factors in the denominators so you can see here this is all the linear factors uh, our highest power of x is x power of 1. So here you rewrite them in form of partial fractions with regarding its constant. You have a, b, c here. So here is you, your um, type 1 or part 1, add 1 lah, minus 1 saja. Okay, so now let's continue our learning with type 2, repeated linear factors. Okay, so here, this is how I like repeated linear factor. Okay, for example, you have here. Uh, your question 6x square minus 15x minus 8 over x minus 3 x plus 5 power of 2. Okay, you look at here. This is what we call as repeated linear factor. Okay, uh, for x minus 3, uh, you don't have problem because uh, we did learn uh, before. It is just linear factor and you just combine it as, just rewrite it as linear factor. Okay, with the constant on the numerator. Okay, how about the x plus 5 power of 3? x plus 5 power of 3, it is repeated linear factor. Okay, so when it is repeated linear factor, you will rewrite them. The first one will be x plus 5. Another one is x plus 5 power of 2. Okay, so we start with power 1 and another one is power of 2. So here you will have b and c with a as well. Okay, so for repeated linear factor, we will uh, repeat the factor from power 1, power 2 and next one, depending on the question. Okay, next we look at B. Okay, so B here, you have X minus 1 over X square bracket 3X plus 5. So where is the repeated factor? So this is here. For repeated factor, okay, because the equation we start with X square. So you will start, uh, rewrite your partial fractions with uh, A over X plus B over X square okay and last one we continue with our linear factor here so here is our 3x plus 5 with its numerator okay uh, let's look at example 3 here express 2x plus 1 over x square bracket 2 minus x in partial fractions okay let's first identify the linear factor first okay here you have x square and 2 minus x so linear factor am i right okay so x power of 1 how about this one okay it is repeated linear factor okay all right so let's continue with our first step let's rewrite them separately according to the uh, the linear factor uh, the factors okay because we start with x uh, you guys remember right because when you have a uh, power of 2 Okay, when you have power of 2, we will separate them into uh, the increasing power. So, you will start with x power of 1 plus over x power of 2. Okay. So, I'm sorry. So, here you have x and then you have x squared. Okay. And last one, we have plus 2 minus x. Okay, that is your first step. So, at the top, at the numerator, you just use the A, B, C. Okay. Uh, this only apply for repeated linear factor. Okay, next one, we look at number 2. Let's equal the denominator. Uh, so, here, uh, as we learned before, that we want to equal the denominator, right? Okay, for you to equal the denominator. So, let's look at this one. Uh, what you should multiply for you to equal the denominator? Of course, you have to multiply with only x, 2 minus x, only x, 2 minus x. Okay, so you get the the original denominator. Okay, for next one, b over x squared. So what do we need to multiply for us to get the same denominator as here? Okay, your aim is here. Okay, to, to make x equal the denominator. So we'll multiply with 2 minus x and 2 minus x here. Okay? Don't be confused with x uh, and multiply. Alright? Okay. And c over 2 minus x, you will multiply with x square and here x square. Combinator for each part. Okay? 
so when you have the same we can just take out the uh, the numerator okay for the left hand side and the right hand side because we already equal the denominator is there all right so here will be our uh, our equation our guidance for us to find the value of a b and c okay let's continue by substitute the value okay let's rewrite our first factor that you have just to use 2 minus x right the, the one that you can clearly see the value. So here you will substitute the value x equal to 2. Okay, so for x equal to 2, we will substitute on the left hand side. On the right hand side. Okay, look at, at a. Do you have the same factor? Yes, so automatically it will have 0. It will multiply with 0. And for this one, it is the same factor. Okay, so b also multiply by 0. No need for you to substitute. And for here, you have 2 square uh, c cx square means uh, c multiplied by 4 so you have 4c okay on the left hand side our value will be 5 equal to 4c so c equal to 5 over 4 okay go to the next value as you can see here we don't have a like linear factor as the other one the other equations but we have x okay for x is actually you can uh, substitute x equal to 0. We start with the easiest value. Okay, uh, for the left hand side, so it will be 1 equal to, okay, at a, you have x. At a, you have x. So, automatic, you will multiply by 0. No need for you to substitute at 2 minus x. And we look at at b. So, at b, you will get 2. And at c, you have x squared. It also has x inside, so c will have 0. So 1 equal to 2b, so b equal to 1 over 2. Alright, so you get the value there. Next one, uh, because we only have x and x square, okay, we can just choose another value, another easy value that you can choose. Uh, okay, like you will try an error actually. Okay, I can call it as try and error. So, I try and error with x. Just now, with x is equal to 0. Another easy number is x equal to 1. So, let's substitute the value. You have 3 on the left-hand side. And here, a multiplied by 1 plus b multiplied by 1 plus c multiplied by 1. Okay, guys. Because we already have the value of B and C, it will need it for you to find the last value, alright, because you already have the value that we use. Uh, but be careful, if you got the wrong value for B and C, it will affect your A value, okay. So here, what will be our calculation? You get A equal to, okay, you can calculate uh, actually here. You will get a equal to 3 minus 7 over 4, and you will end up with uh, a equal to 5 over 7. Alright, the value c there, the value b there, and the value a there. So, guys, remember to rewrite back the final answer. Okay, must we go to the okay? Uh, this is your third step to find the value, and our final answer, our fourth step will be. 2x plus 1 over x square 2 minus x is equal to. Okay, so let's, I said earlier, let's write down the uh, denominator first. Our first denominator is x. Second one is x square. Please guys, read the operation first. Because operation is uh, depends on our value of a, b and c. Okay, let's look at the value of a. Our a is Oh, I'm sorry. Here, uh, it shouldn't be 5 over 7. It should be 5 over 4. Am I right? Okay. So, here it will be 5 over 4. 5 over 4. X. How about X square? Our B. Our B is 1 over 2. So, you put 1 over 2 here and plus. Because our value is positive. And our C is also positive. So, plus 5 over 4. And what you need here is bracket. When you have terms that have operation uh, that has operation okay 
uh, in between them we need to use bracket all right so i think that's all for our uh, examples for you to understand for linear factor and a repeated linear factor for repeated they start with x power of one and then x power of two according uh, increasing the power of okay? and for you to equal the denominator just make sure the denominator is the same as the original from the equations and multiply accordingly all right and substitute the value if you already use all the linear factors value you can just try an error uh, just choose any value you but don't choose complicated one like a thousand no okay uh, just choose x equal to zero x equal to one and if you already have the value of p or c just substitute okay in order for us to find a here uh, but make sure your uh, your b and c here is perfectly correct okay guys so that's all the concepts and your content for type 1 linear factor and type 2 repeated linear factors as the denominator okay so now this is all the exercises for you to do please do on your papers or books okay try to solve all this question and remember to answer your tutorial too okay okay so that's the end of our lecture four or five okay so it is easy right okay and thank you